Hi guys, welcome to the Learning Letterpress. I am working on a project for the Houston Printing Museum, cleaning up some of their wood type, doing just a deep clean and condition. So I thought I would take a few minutes and show you how we clean and condition the wood type at the Printing Museum. So you need a couple of supplies. Um, the first is going to be Gojo Original. You can pick this up at an auto supply store or a hardware store. Um, this is a really nice uh, cleaner and conditioner at the same time. It's safe for wood type. You don't have to wipe it off with water or any other solvents. And I find that it really does a nice job of breaking down ink um, and simultaneously conditioning your wood type, which is really important. You are gonna need some gloves, um, probably several pairs if you're doing a full set of type or um, some, if, if you, you know, are kind of a little rough on your gloves like I am. Um, they do get very dirty and so this will help protect your hands. I have two types of toothbrushes. So these are old used toothbrushes that were soft bristles to begin with. Um, so by the time they make it onto this table, they're really nice and soft. I have a manual toothbrush and sometimes if there's built-in gunk, I will put a layer of Gojo on with this first. Um, allow it to sit for 20 minutes or so just to kind of really penetrate that ink. Um, and I just use the manual one for that one. For the really heavy lifting though, I have an electric toothbrush that has again an old soft head on it um, that really helps to get into those cracks. And then lastly, you're gonna need some old cut up t-shirts or something, um, some other kind of soft, really soft cloth that can absorb the ink. So I am working on a variety of different types for the printing museum, but we're gonna work on this big letter R today. So as you can see, um, it's just kind of a little bit older. It's got some ink patina, but it also has quite a bit of like dust and dirt um, that we really don't want living on that type for very long. So what I'm gonna do is pop my gloves on. And then this one doesn't have a big buildup of ink, so I'm not gonna worry about a manual process. I'm just gonna dip my electric toothbrush into a little bit of that Gojo paste. Um, it gets really funky and gross with all of the old ink, so I prefer to put it in smaller kind of bite-sized pieces in this little container. And then what you're gonna do is just very lightly, you want to apply that Gojo paste all over your type. Um, it is key that you make sure that there is always Gojo paste on where you're rubbing with your toothbrush because you want that to be really nice and lubricated um, so as not to damage the type. You also want to have a very light touch here, um, especially if you're working with smaller type that has um, more delicate features. This one's a pretty bold type and it's pretty large. Um, so I can move a little bit more quickly, but if you're working on smaller pieces of type, like the ones that are here on the table, um, it might take a little bit longer. So I usually like to spend about 30 seconds or so on each piece of type. Again, this manual toothbrush, or this electric toothbrush, excuse me, does all of the work for you, which is great. Just return that toothbrush to the charger, and I'm gonna take my clean cloth and just wipe that Gojo cream off. So you wanna get all of the edges, and as you are wiping it off, it's also simultaneously conditioning and, and spreading around some of that paste um, in a really nice thin coat. You wanna make sure that you get in all of these crevices. Um, sometimes there's gunk that's built up in there, so what I do is I just wrap the piece of cloth around my fingertip, and I will just trace that those corners with my fingertip nice and slow. And then finally, make sure that you wipe that face off nice and dry. Um, and this is our finished product. So we have a nice clean piece of type. It no longer has dust or dirt or grime built on it. And then when it, we've been able to preserve some of that patina, but to remove all of the um, more recent ink that really doesn't help whenever we're printing, especially lighter colors. We don't want any color transfer um, or anything causing any sort of like bumps or bruises on our prints. So that's how we clean and condition type over at the Printing Museum. I hope this has been helpful to you today. Thanks.